The Queen program started in 1988 under the direction of a dairy geneticist, Dr. Jim Gilmore. And he actually had a student who was the impetus kind of nudging him to develop a program where students would run a dairy. So this program has run with no breaks since 1988. CREAM stands for Cooperative for Real Education and Agricultural Management. And it's pretty much a, um, a student-run dairy farm. So the students are in charge of all the chores, milking, taking care of the calves, taking care of the cows, treating them, and breeding decisions, repro, all the ins and outs of working on a dairy farm. We start them brand new here, which is remarkable. We'll take a group of 20-something students that have barely even touched a cow before and expect the farm to continue on working like nothing is different. It is a challenge, absolutely, but it is so wonderful to watch these young people gain confidence and just watch their appreciation for cows and farming really grow throughout the year. It's one of the most rewarding parts of my job. The farm kind of feels like a home to me. There's like a really great community that the cream program creates. So that's been one of my favorite parts is coming here and having a group of peers that are interested in the same things that I am. I've had many students come and change their career goals. They come here thinking they want to be a, a companion animal veterinarian and before they're done here have decided that they want to become a large animal vet, which really makes me happy. I love their personalities. They're so curious. Um, the way that we can leave the same hose slightly differently coiled and every one of them has to stop and look at it and smell it. We have cows that they know their names. If they're out in pasture and you call them, they'll come running. I came into the university not really knowing what I wanted to do, thinking I wanted to do something with horses. But working with registered Holsteins and this farm has given me a picture of my future. I would love to work um, either as an AI tech or in herd management someday, and I can definitely only see myself working with a registered Holstein herd. Just knowing how hard they work for us every day, they really give their lives to help us and to feed people, and you know, I just <laughs> give back what I can in return. We actually let the students make the breeding decisions. We have a committee called Breeding Committee, and I try not to overstep my bounds when we're having those committees. I generally think if we have 15 smart young people sit around and thoughtfully discuss it, then they're probably going to come up with the right decision. And I think their, their success is evident here in the barn. We demand high quality cows and we demand high quality students. And I think the combination of both really elevates the cream program. We have just a really robust group of alumni working in the dairy industry across several career opportunities. We have folks working in animal health and animal nutrition. We have farmers, we have uh, farm lenders, and these are the mentors for our students. When I was in CREAM, I was specifically interested in genetics, and um, this was a really good place to be because Matt Bodet, the herdsman here, is also really interested in genetics. So. He taught us a lot about genetics and I also feel like he taught us you don't have to fit into somebody else's boxes in order to do what you love. You know, I'm 5'4", 120 pound woman. I don't exactly fit into what everybody's idea of a farmer is, but it's what I love to do and I can't imagine doing anything else. I am here in Cream today because I thought it'd be a great chance to get closer to being, you know, where, where my food's from and like what that really looks like through an environmental science lens. Holstein cows, they're great sequesters, you know, their manure can be used to grow great crops that take, you know, carbon out of the air. They are wonderfully efficient animals and they produce a lot. They're the hardest workers on the farm. We like the opportunity to be able to work with such nice, high quality animals. We put in a lot of work and a lot of thought goes into the breedings and the genetics of this herd, so we're, we're very proud. I think Holsteins are the gold standard breed for the dairy industry. They are high producing, they're economically viable, they fit the sustainability needs that we are looking for, and the breadth of genetic possibilities are uh, broader than any other breed. And when students go out into the real world, they're going to see Holsteins predominantly. 
So we're really happy to have the herd of cows that we have here. Really proud of them. 